founder of Stress Solutions University. And welcome to some breathing techniques that will help you oxygenate your body. When life happens and we see it as a threat to our ability to handle something, the body starts to increase tension within. The quickest way to get back into a relaxation state is to connect with our breath. In fact, 60, 70, 67 to 70% of our makeup is oxygen-based. The two main fuels for healthy cells are balanced glucose and oxygen. 90% of our biological energy is oxygen-fueled. So next time when you're going through a difficult situation and you feel the tension in the body, as quickly as possible, return to your connection with your breath. As you're oxygenating, you're removing toxins from the body. Every time you exhale, you exhale 70% of your toxins. The problem is we're only using about one-fourth to one-third of our lung capacity with each breath. We take about 25 to 30 breaths per minute. When you do intentional breathing, pranayama techniques, these techniques are actually based in the depth of bringing oxygen down into the earth suit to be able to fuel the bloodstream. There's actual studies that are out there that are linking a cure to cancer to increasing the oxygen supply within our body. So oxygen is essential to our health and well-being. Prana Ayama techniques, it's Sanskrit for breath, life force, and Ayama is just the extension. So these are life-giving breathing techniques. One of the ways that you can anchor yourself when you're feeling threatened outside, I do these techniques right in the morning. I do them morning, midday, as well as before bed, and as much as possible throughout the day. Link into the breath. You can focus in on that which is causing you to feel overwhelmed, anxious, fearful, or worried, and drop into your breathing. One of the techniques you can do is simply with a shoulder stance with your feet, Breathing up and out through your nose. And then you move in and push out. So metaphorically, imagine breathing in the presence of God and God's strength and exhaling the fear, worry, or doubt. Inhale God's strength, exhale worry and doubt. And as you protect your energy field, in neurolinguistic programming there's the zip-up technique. So as in quantum physics, as the energy leaves the body and you're in a, in a toxic situation, in the presence of dumpers, in the presence of perceived threats, when you simply zip up your energy field, it actually helps you to guard your heart or turning your shoulders. Some of the pranayama techniques are as follows. This is just a quick overview of some techniques that you can use, grab and go, and apply in your life. The simple deep breathing is just breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. The next one is a prayer position and breathing in through your nose, in, out as you extend your elbows back and open up your heart area. So in through your nose, out through your nose. The next one is simply with your hands out in front of you, twisting your elbows in and on each twist in, as you pull in, you add your breathing. The next technique that you can use is simply taking your hands and at the, the chest area, pushing down, inhaling, looking back as you raise your eyes to the heaven, heavens where your help comes from. You're actually linking to the parts of the brain for visual creativity or visual memory, visual creativity. So you breathe in, look up, and release. Breathe in, up, and release. The next technique is arms up in the air. Simply gently holding onto one hand, breathe in. As you exhale, breathe down, breathe in. Up. The next technique is simply shoulder, shoulders up at your chest area, breathe in. Exhale and twist. Look to the back wall, breathe naturally, come back to the beginning stance, breathe in. Exhale, all through your nose, breathe in, 
and relax. The next technique is simply closing one nostril. You're pinching your nose and alternating. Breathe in through your nose. Switch. In. Switch. Exhale. Switch. Breathe in. This creates further connection between the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. As you do this, this crosses over, which, which gives you more full brain capacity for executive thinking and solution-based thinking. The next technique is the bumblebee technique. So as, you, as you're gently putting your two fingers, middle finger and your ring finger over your eyes, your, your pointer and pinky gently fall on the, in the right places above your eye and on your cheekbone. And as you inhale, simply close your ears with your thumbs and exhale through your nose as you hum. Anytime you whistle, laugh, hum, sing, this creates a vibration to take you out of the mind muck. The next technique is extremely powerful. This is probably one of the most powerful breathing techniques that you can do, simply because it massages all the major organs within your body. It increases oxygenation and detoxifies your liver. So as you cough out, <coughs> put your hands on your stomach and you'll feel the motion. <coughs> Just add your nose breathing. <coughs> So out and in, out and in, as you, as, you, as you squeeze in and exhale. This technique massages the organs and detoxifies your body. Energy throughout the day is oxygen-based. So bring in that oxygen to the bloodstream. Enjoy practicing and check out that PDF, members on stresssolutionsuniversity.com. That's available for you. If you're not already a member, I invite you to explore us, join us. There's many different techniques. Grab and go solutions to everyday stress triggers. Enjoy your gift of life today.